I've seen this rapid pace of change that, that we're dealing with. And I'd say that the, the, the best sales professionals that I sit down with are asking themselves a fundamental question, which is, am I a good sales professional today? So as we think about the sales profession, the goalposts have shifted in so many ways to the people that we're selling to, to what the buyers actually want from us, to the tooling that we're actually using to be successful. But the one thing that has changed is that nothing happens until someone sells something. Sales is the lifeblood of every single organization. And it doesn't matter how talented you are from an ops perspective or a marketing perspective or a finance perspective, these jobs don't exist unless the people in this room are closing deals, right? That's the lifeblood of every single organization. And there was a study done of the top 500 sales organizations in the world, and the results showed that for every salesperson in the organization, they support 14 jobs. 14 jobs for every one salesperson. Now the value of sales hasn't changed. The why hasn't changed but the how has changed. So when we look at the marketplace today, what are we seeing? We hear this term digital transformation, what does that mean? It's this collision of our digital and our physical worlds. Okay, just think about how you consume content on Netflix or how you buy on Amazon. We are in the thick of this digital transformation. Let's use phones as an example. Mobile devices, which have been around for less than 50 years, and we've got more mobile devices than we do people in the world. So we're in the thick of this digital transformation. So what does this mean from a business opportunity standpoint? From any change, there's always good and there's always bad. The good side is that it's estimated that digital transformation will bring us $100 trillion in economic opportunity over the next 10 years. Here's the risk, is that change is hard. And when we look at the Fortune 500 list, since the year 2000, over half of that list is turned over. And it's hardest for the large enterprises to make these changes because we're invested in infrastructure. We've got legacy processes. We've got hierarchy. We've got silos. And that's what makes change very difficult. 